Sometimes the ball is destined to go in no matter how many defenders you have in the box. Some great close control by Guido Bergstaller and Alessandro Schöpf leads to the latter calmly curling the ball into the bottom corner. FS Val Frankfurt's defence is at sixes and sevens as Schöp fires Nuremberg into a 1-0 lead shortly before the hour mark, but the away side eventually fought back to secure a one-all draw. As a footballer lurking on the edge of the box, you're always hoping the ball will sit up nicely for you. Well, Mark Hornshoe got his wish this weekend and made no mistake to haul St. Pauli level against Union Berlin. Daniel Babala's cross doesn't quite find its intended target, but it worked out perfectly in the end, thanks to a perfect connection from the number 16. Stefan Effenberg's coaching career got off to a perfect start this weekend as he led Paderborn to a win over Braunschweig, and the first goal of his tenure was this instinctive finish by Moritz Stoppelkamp. It might not have been the most spectacular of strikes, but it takes a real nose for goal to make sure you're in the right place at the right time. Zuluman Koch's long-range effort is deflected, and it requires a very good save from Rafael Kikovic to keep the ball from going in. But he's helpless as Stoppelkamp pounces on the rebound to put Paderborn on course for a 2-0 win in the end. Bottom of the table, Duisburg looks set for a much-needed point against High Flyers Heidenheim, but then Tim Starker popped up in the 83rd minute. Cue the wild celebrations from the home team as this well-taken goal secured another three points towards the surprise package's promotion charge. And we end our countdown with Bundesliga 2 set-piece specialist Vincenzo Griffo. Free kicks are like penalties for Freiburg these days, and this one was straight out of the top draw. It was part of another big win for the league leaders as they put five past Greuther Furt, but there's no doubting that Griffo's corker was the pick of the bunch.